I get it guys, trying new things is scary, right? You're going to a place you've never been, surrounding yourself with people you've never met, about to do something that you've never done before. Absolutely nothing about that is comfortable. I get it at any stage in life, whether you're a kid in high school, whether you're a 31 year old man my age, getting out of your comfort zone is one of the consistently difficult things that we all can do as people, but it's also one of the most important things that we all can do. So in this video, I want to talk about four reasons, four motivating, super impactful and powerful reasons why you should do something new. Let's get into it. Trying new things is tough, I get it. Maybe you're sliding that mouse over to the sub button right now and you're thinking about hitting it. Hey, I'd click it. It's a new thing to do. I'd appreciate it at least, um, but go ahead, hit that button. Uh, but in all seriousness, here are four really good reasons why I think you should try new things. Um, if you care about who I am, right, I think my purpose and something that I really, really try to do here on this channel is just inspire people, help people in finances, in life, by thinking about life, my life, um, you know, either just myself or through conversations I've had. So let's get right into it. The number one reason, these aren't in priority order, by the way, but the first reason why you should try new things is because you said you would do it, right? At some point, you made a verbal commitment, right? Or a promise to someone. You said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to start this workout. I'm going to call this girl. I'm going to text this guy, right? I'm going to try on that new outfit. I'm going to switch up my style, right? I'm going to buy that computer. I'm going to build that thing, right? I'm going to try doing this project on my own. I'm going to learn that new skill, right? You made that commitment or that promise to someone and then you didn't follow up on it. Why'd you do that? Keep your promises, guys. The power of your word is so, so strong. I didn't want to say powerful twice, but your words have power and you give them power through your actions. It's only when you don't follow through on your words that your words lose their power. And so if you want to have the ability or the things that you say to come into existence, start putting that into action and you'll see that there will be a stronger and stronger correlation for the things that you say, the outcomes that you have in your life. The second reason, it's a little more relaxed and that's just, it's good for you. Um, you know, growth happens when we try new things. You know, if you, maybe you wanted to try and become a really good, you know, professional playing card stacker, you know, building card houses or something. And you try that and then you notice that, wow, you know, you actually become interested in the, in the, in the designs of the cards. So you start designing playing cards, totally random. I just thought of that while I'm shooting this video, but by thinking about it and like some thinking of someone going through that activity actually gave me the idea. And that's very much how we arrive at a lot of stuff, right? That growth, that exposure to new things only happens when we try new things. It doesn't always have to be some deep involved, you know, reason why it doesn't have to be like reason number one, because I promised someone I said I was going to do it. Maybe you just do it for the sake of doing it. And it's a really good way to figure out about, figure out all the stuff that's out there. And one of the silliest things I hear people say, you know, in life is, I don't know what to do. And it's like, well, nobody does. No, nobody knows. Like, why are we even talking about this? Just go do something, figure it out. Number three, and this is a really good one. This ties into, you know, building your professional life but it's a natural way to network right when you try new things you meet people who are interested in that thing right and maybe even though you're net new and you're an amateur in that space they might be a professional right this might be the most important thing to them right they might be super duper excited about this and now you're there and they're going to either give you that excitement or give you more exposure to other people who are excited about other things it's a really 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 good way to network guys when you join a community of people who are like-minded right you have a common connection and even though you're very very different people you are able to build this bond over this common interest so that is how friendship occurs that's how most of us are friends with anyone honestly like we're not really that similar to a lot of people we hang out with and maybe you realize this that you're like why am i even friends with this person it's probably because you have some common activity 
You might just be getting hammered on Fridays, but that's okay. People like to overanalyze this and be like, hmm, even though I hang out with this person all the time, I feel like we're like, that's, that's just, we're people. That's okay. It's okay to hang out with people that you're different than. That is the beauty of life. And you can do that by bonding over common activities. So do it more. It's a good way to meet new people, network, and you know the benefit of a network isn't just financial right it's it's also emotional yeah you have a support system you have people they can reach out to those people know know people and so when you need favors when you need help you just need three people to help you move a couch now you know some people because you wouldn't play darts on some random thursday right the last one this one is a deeper one right and i talk about this a lot and that is purpose right there are some things that only you can do right only you can do them and you can only do them because you're you doesn't mean that you're the best at them right doesn't mean that it's some new concept that's never been thought of but you add a unique twist on it by being you here's an example right i'm a dancer right so i dance and i know many many people who think about opening studios right and i in discussions with some people who want to open studios, you know, they might think, oh, it's oversaturated. There's already a ton of studios. It's like, okay, well, is there a studio in your neighborhood? Is there a studio, you know, with people who are like you? You know, one of the reasons that people join a community is to be around people who are like them, right? Um, either it could be common background, it could be the same zip code, right? Zip code, you know, appreciation is a real thing. Like everybody, you start a little dance squad from people on your block like that's cool and that could be the thing that sustains your business right and so the uniqueness to your business might is literally just the fact that it's you you might have the exact same curriculum you might be teaching the exact same things anybody else but you don't have to overthink it guys there are billions of people on earth right and sometimes the unique differentiator that you have to offer to people is the fact that you're 10 minutes closer than the other option that's that's real life that's the real deal you know the studios that i practice at the ones within 35 minutes of me right and there's might be some amazing place you know no hate by the way but there might be some amazing other place you know theoretically speaking speaking two hours away but i'm not going to drive two hours so like it's, it's not going to happen i'm too busy doing this doing other stuff right and so think about the value prop that you have that no one else has right it might be more layers to it it might be as nuanced as you know me telling you that you're you and because you're you nobody else can replicate what you do and that honestly is true guys i found that it's something that i had a reason with, with with myself you know imposter syndrome is a real thing we often feel like we're inadequate because other people are so good they're so so good at what we're trying to do and so we feel like we're an imposter we feel like copycats but then whenever I get random people who will tell me either in person or they'll DM me I'm like, hey, you inspired me to take action or you just helped me through this or I'm going to start doing this because of something you said. Right. And that's only happened because it's me. And because it's me, they can relate to me. Right. Hearing it from somebody who's far off up high in the sky actually makes it completely unrelatable as opposed to hearing it from me. Right. Somebody that they know. And so. Think about what you can do. Um, you know, each of us has a unique opportunity, you know, to spend the currency that is our one life in whichever way we choose. So spend your one life, your one coin, your one currency of life wisely. That is it for this one. My name is Forrest. I invest in stuff. You should too. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. That's crazy. And I will certainly see you in the next one. Peace.